I've always wanted to be uh, a physicist, I think. This was uh, something I wanted to do already in, in high school because I liked the idea of coming up with an experiment, test, uh, c conceiving of it, and then and testing, the, testing the idea. So that's something that's always been there uh, for me. But what, I, what drove me towards physics, more and more towards physics rather than, say, uh, biology, was the fact that you didn't have to remember things. You could always or almost always go back to square one and try and work your way through a problem or a derivation and not have to remember lots and lots of facts. I went to Cambridge where I studied natural, science, natural sciences. This is, a, this is, this is and was a, a combination of physics, chemistry, biology and maths in the first year, so very broad. And this gave me the opportunity to pick and choose and to learn more about uh, science in, in general. And I think this really did help me because I liked the ability to pick different, uh, pick from different parts of, or different types of science, and to and to build on, on that in that way. After having finished my undergraduate degree, I then did a, a PhD, so a further degree where I um, helped to build some instrumentation for a, a telescope in Hawaii, the so-called James Clark Maxwell Telescope, which operates in the submillimeter, so at wavelengths that our eyes aren't, uh, eyes aren't uh, sensitive to. And that uh, was a big step uh, towards my, my current career, combining instrumentation and astronomy and making, ma making a small step, uh, step forward. One setback that I experienced was where, uh, when working on a, a mission study called Speaker. This was a collaboration between um, JAXA, Japanese Space Agency, and uh, European uh, member states. And the UK decided not to, to support this mission, and that meant that the team that I was working on, that was at that time leading the project, was unable to continue in that particular role. And for me, being part of a, a small team, the core team that was working on this, this was a big, uh, a big uh, step. What I did was to then consider looking at alternatives, and that's how I actually came to work at uh, ESA. I wanted to continue working in this type of role the project sci as a project scientist at the interface between science and engineering, and so I made the move to, to ESA. So in what was at the time a, a drawback or a step, a difficult step to contend with, turned out to be a very uh, positive step in the, in the midterm, actually.